Today I just had a moment that I wanted to share with you to talk about true manifestation. A few weeks ago, I got a powerful experience of what true manifestation is and how we keep ourselves from manifesting what we truly want by our thoughts. That's right. The other day, I put up a Facebook post, can you manifest without thoughts, without your thoughts? And I got only one comment of all the usual people that make lots of comments that said no. Well, that is true and it isn't true. It depends which, which, where you're coming from. I am someone who's worked a lot with my divine and the divine has been sharing with me that using your mental abilities to manifest is not really the key. The key is in your heart. And when you're in your heart, what you manifest is more like what you really desire to come to you. So let's take for example, that you you heard just a really simple example that you you had this little whisper of something that would be really nice for you to have and then next thing you know that thing came to you well why did it come to you so quickly because you didn't have a thought about it you didn't predict it you weren't waiting for it you weren't expecting a miracle you just allowed that goodness that moment of, oh, that would feel so nice to be there and agreed to it, and then it came. Well, I have another example of that where you when you use your thoughts, you, you can stop manifesting or continue manifesting. So I've been having a lot of ex different examples with this lately. So the other day, yesterday, I went to the beach, went for a walk on the beach, and I have these yoga shorts that have a little opening in them, you know, where you can slide in your keys and some cash and, you know, so you don't have to carry thing, anything with you. And so I uh, went to the beach and just for fun, you know, my doubtful mind, I guess, I went and I checked the, the lining of that, where that little hole in my waistband, sure enough, I could feel the cash in there. And um, I took, I don't know why it took two twenties, you know, I was like, I don't know where I was going to go. There's nothing on the beach for me to buy, but just in case, maybe I wanted to stop and have dinner on the way home, but I didn't, I came right home. And, uh, when I was coming right home, it was raining. It was really wonderful, warm rain, very beautiful. And I was having a really good time walking and when I got home and stripped down to go in the shower, uh, I, I, when I took my shorts off, I felt the, the lining of my, my shorts and there was no cash in there. Well, and I was like, my, I watched my thoughts happen. And literally I was like, well, shoot, now I'll have to walk all the way back to the beach Oh, well, somebody's probably going to pick it up anyway. You know what? May the person who picks it up get everything they want from it, what they need, and it makes them happy. And I just let it go. I took my shower, got cleaned up, went in my closet, and as I was getting dressed, I found my money. It was on my closet floor. How did it get out of that little hole without me pulling it out? How, how it got out was that I let go of it. I manifested, by the way, I looked in my closet, it wasn't on the floor before. So I manifested by not thinking. I'm gonna say that again. I manifested by not thinking. And when you do that, not only do you free your mind, but you keep your heart open. Your heart still is in the joyful place, the place of being happy and grateful that whatever happens is the right thing that happens. So when you are actually 
literally, my two favorite words, actually and literally, manifesting, try not using your mind. And use this phrase instead. When your mind starts thinking, oh, I want this, and how I'm going to get it is like that. And Remember, God has another plan for you. But it's always a good plan. It's a good plan if you let go. All right, so the, what, the phrase that you can tell yourself when your mind starts thinking, as soon as you know you want something, is you can say, God's got this. God is taking care of everything. And then see if you can believe it. Drop in your heart. See if you know it's true. There's a place inside of you, your soul level, that actually knows that that is true. So start saying it until your mind starts believing it.